What's up YouTube? Seth here. Uh, for sale today, I'm going to give you guys a tour of this custom built camper. It is on a 2500 chassis with a 2.8 liter Duramax engine. It's a 2018 model. It is not four wheel drive. I decided not to go four wheel drive because originally I was going to take it to Quigley or off road, Boulder off road in Colorado to have it converted and I decided not to because I ended up not needing it every time I have been stuck. I've used the 12,000 pound Smitty built winch, which has been amazing. Uh, these tow points, this is a custom built steel tubing bumper that is very well mounted. So each one of those are at least rated to 10,000 pounds. Unlike the aluminum ones, if you've ever looked into the aluminous bumpers, you know how quickly and easily those rip off. You're not going to run into that with this one. Uh, it does have remote start because it is a 2018 once again the duramax diesel it's in pretty good condition i've taken very good care of it mechanically i drive like an 80 year old man so you don't have to worry about that uh it does have a couple minor clear coat scratches on it and some even paint scratches that have been touched up it has a three gallon gas tank on the back i use that for my motorcycle a lot it has an air conditioner that you can run through the night most of the time, as long as you keep your batteries up to charge. Here's another one of those tubing bumpers, which is really nice. It does have a hitch and it is a 2500, so feel free to tow whatever you want. Tires are in excellent condition. They're the BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires. wanted to give you a quick walk around before we go inside. You look, it says adventure up there. A friend of mine helped me do that. It has 400 watts of solar on the top. It has 200 amp hours of lithium batteries. They're Battleborn batteries. You can look those up. They're excellent batteries. Most of the electronogy is erect, electronic stuff is Renogy. This is a Sportsmobile pop top. It was done by a company in Texas. Uh, up there, if you see that antenna, funny looking antenna, that's a Wii Boost. Now we'll go ahead and look at the cab. Most of these videos, people seem to look at the truck part before they look at anything else. Love these doors. They've got an amazing amount of storage. That's the trash can one I normally use. This is the wireless remote for the 12,000 pound winch. Just tap that button. And there you go. You're ready to get out of a hole. So while it doesn't have four wheel drive, it does have a limited slip differential and it weighs so much that it actually does quite well off road. Here we are inside. Go ahead and put the key in. It does have Bluetooth and hands-free connectivity, steering wheel controls, definitely not the base model. Um, it has an outlet over here, also has two outlets, which is nice. I think I already said it was Bluetooth, it has the exhaust braking. Here we have, if you see the tire pressure light is on, that is just because uh, the GPMS light is on. I removed the sensors out of the tires if you'd like to, they all work and you can put them back in. That's up to you. Has 49,500 miles as of today. Uh, if you're pulling a lot of weight or you want to charge the batteries really fast, you go ahead and press this, set the emergency brake, and hit this, and it will activate the fast idle option, which was an add-on from the factory. Idles the diesel up to 2,500 RPMs, or no, excuse me, God no, <laughs> up to 1,200 RPMs which is uh, uh, enough to get yourself pulled out of the mud. If you just lightly press this, then you can use the winch and it'll give you more than enough power to power your way out of things. Thing has tons of storage. It's one thing I love about it. Under the seats is also a lot of storage. Go around to the passenger side here. 
where the lovely lady will hang out, if you're lucky. Uh, once again, more storage. I will leave behind these mirrors for you guys. So, makeup mirrors, you can pick your nose in them. These windows do open. All of the windows on the back half of the vehicle open to let plenty of air in. This is one of my personal favorite features right here, is you've got this water hose that is always ready to go. Excellent, comes in pretty handy, not gonna lie. Uh, and this hose will reach pretty far. You can stretch it easily all the way around to the back of the vehicle and wash uh, whatever you need to off. This kind of works out as a shower, since this one does not have a shower, you can kind of just take a shower outside, especially if you're in the desert, it's really nice. And uh, if not, you can just rinse your feet off and rinse this thing out. Got to do that quite a bit. It gets dirty. Here's the back. Sink right here. It does have a water tank with uh, just under 30 gallons of fresh water storage. Dimmable lighting. Uh, 3000 watt inverter. So plenty of power on these two outlets you have here and also powers the air conditioner there. Once again, running water. Here's the stove. This is a Dometic stove, which is an excellent brand. I've had no trouble out of this uh, oven the whole time I've had it. It does have a light, which is pretty cool. I thought that was nifty of them to add. Cooked a lot of stuff in there. I've baked cakes, cooked chicken, you name it. Three burner stove. Also, one of the things I love about this is uh, this, the burners are not just those chimpy little ones. It's got some pretty meaty burners on it. Puts out quite a few BTUs. There is 20 pound, a 20 pound bottle of uh, propane on board. I prefer gas cooking, honestly. Uh, there's that other outlet. This window does open. There's tons of storage. I haven't completely moved out of it. This is still my full-time residence. Storage goes way back into there too. Wanted it to go all the way back. Another compartment. Once again, it goes pretty far back. This is the uh, Thetford Porta Potty. It is a 2.5 gallon uh, porta potty for emergencies, or I actually use it pretty regularly. I love it. If other vans that don't have it, wouldn't even consider them. Another compartment here. Usually use that as a trash can. This is another really deep drawer. T tons of storage. Clothes right here. Here's uh, hanging clothes. I wanted the hanging closet so it doesn't wrinkle. You can put your shoes in there too. Hang your socks and undies on there. It's got a pull out mirror for uh, making sure you don't look too hideous living in a van down by the river. Plenty of food storage, tons of food storage, which is something I see a lot of builds missing, especially the Sportsmobiles designed by Sportsmobile. This thing has got tons of food storage. So like I said, or I don't know if I said, but I've lived in this for probably two years, maybe two and a half years full time and it has served me very well. The storage is more than enough. Up top here we have a little drawer. I used every bit of space that I could inside this entire build. There is no wasted space. Can't find any. We've got a two amp charger right here and then there's a 12 volt outlet right there. Uh, down here is another cutout once again. All the space has been used. Another deep drawer get into the cooking stuff. Pan, I highly recommend those pans. 
They're very nice for living in a van. Another drawer, even under the stove is more storage. I've already showed you guys all of this storage and all of that. This one is crazy. This is a gigantic drawer right here. Kind of hard to tell. I have the receipts and warranties for all the equipment, all of the appliances inside of this unit, as well as the receipts for the top that was installed. It's kind of hard to do this drawer justice, but it is absolutely giant. That's my winter storage. Usually I put a lot of winter stuff in there. Uh, it does have a Wabasto heater, which is an amazing heater. You can actually set what days you want that to come on and thermostat. You can set the temperature and just walk away and it'll keep it really warm in here. The diesel that feeds that heater runs off of the tank, which is a 30 gallon tank on the Duramax and is more than enough to heat it. It sips fuel. It only uses one gallon of fuel for 24 hours of runtime, which is amazing. Up here, we have all the controls. This goes to the WeBoost cell phone booster, uh, 5G, 4G. This is the remote control for the air conditioner right here. This is how you turn the inverter on. Uh, this will tell you how much solar we're getting. 14.4 volts, zero amps right now. Pretty shady out. And uh, if you look at that, we're at 13.3. I made this little chart. 13.3 is 90%. Batteries look excellent. Right here we have an isotherm refrigerator. I'd highly recommend the isotherms. I've had no trouble out of this the whole time I've lived in here. It has just worked. My old van had a cheaper fridge and I regretted it. It's amazing. It's got the light inside. You can turn it down so much that it'll freeze half the stuff in here. Trust me, I've done it on accident. Plenty of storage and you can absolutely pack this thing full and it does not affect its operation. That is uh, probably two to five pounds, probably five, maybe more than five pounds of chicken. I could fit two things of salmon in there with that chicken. This runs off of the 200 amp hours of Battleborn and it has no trouble doing so. Honestly, I have turned that off zero times, needed to turn it off no times the whole time I've lived in this van. It just stays on and runs effortlessly. Uh, has screens all the way around on all of these windows and all of these windows open up too. They have the clear plastic on them. Some of these screens do have some tears in them. If you can see that, which is kind of irritating. The way this top goes up is you just push up on it and it's kind of like a garage door. It's spring loaded. It's hard to push for the first couple seconds, but once you get it going, it goes up all by itself. It's got these lights right here that you can just touch with your finger and they come on and off. Has the max air fan, highly recommend as well. Uh, much better than the fantastic fans. The max airs are very serviceable. When they start squeaking, you can fix them. Up here is the uh, second bed, because this bad boy's got two beds in it. Go ahead and put that down. It has these nice window covers that I made, Reflectix, so they're insulative. Keep the heat out or keep the heat in when you're stealth camping, maybe if you wanted to stay at a Walmart or something. Comes in pretty handy. This top bed up here just hangs. Get it down so you can see. Booyah. This one's about a twin size bed. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than a twin, but it is a perfect bed. You can you could sleep two people up here and two people down here. This bed is definitely more comfortable, I will admit that. Has another one of those lights over there that is touch activated. See if I can get this up without one-handed, without killing myself. Has these little hooks that I installed for drying your towel or when you get back from the beach, whatever you oh, want to use them for, really. I've seen some amazing views through this. I love this canvas top. 
It is honestly pretty excellent. Uh, the bed down here is a full-size bed. It pulls out, has a new mattress on it, fresh mattress. Didn't want to give you guys an old dirty, dirty old mattress. I've sat on it a couple times. There's the storage. There you can see, I will get to that here in a minute so you can see it better. A lot of people ask me about this crack in the middle here because this is two separate pieces of foam and I made it tight enough that you cannot feel that crack at all. That is a full-size bed with a couple inches cut off over here uh, up at the top to because it's kind of rounded right there. Comes in pretty handy. Really comfortable, honestly. Uh-oh, I laid on your bed. Sorry. All the windows open, like I was saying earlier. Good quality windows. Never had any leaks out of them or any trouble from them. Normally this isn't how I do it. I'm just doing it this way because I'm one-handed. Makes it kind of interesting. All right. Go ahead and step back out here. I do keep, take good care of the mm -hmm. trim. All the rubber gets sealed a couple times a year. Also, the undercarriage of the van has little to no rust on it. Might look like rust in some spots, but uh, it's actually just dirt. It's kind of dirty under there. Give you a good idea what it looks like under here. Twice a year I come under here with a can of rust prevention and spray everything. It did come with a factory rust prevention option. There's the dent that I was telling you about earlier. If you look right there closely, right there on the rocker panel is a uh, large dent and gash and there was a little bit of showing paint. I touched it up with a little touch-up kit. There's a little crack from uh, hitting a stump, which was unfortunate. It's an accident, I didn't see it. Don't judge me. Come back here. Uh, I will remove that sticker for you, don't worry. Uh, I think I already talked about the three gallons of gas, air conditioner, this is a really efficient air conditioner. Sips power. The door works just fine with the AC in it. I get that question a lot from people. Does not it does not affect that door at all. It's actually a really light window unit. Right here is a, a inflatable kayak. It is the Lagoon Tactic 3, I believe. It is an excellent kayak. Honestly, I love it. I'm going to sell it with the van though because uh, I mean, if you don't want it, obviously I'll take it off your hands, but I love how it fits in here so tight and it's really nice to just have a kayak with you when you need it. The air conditioner does work fine with only half of it showing. There's a piece in there that guides the air right out towards you into the cab, the sleeping area. Right here is a toolbox. I hate to let this toolbox go with it, but I'm going to. This toolbox has been with me for quite a few years. It is a nice toolbox. Plenty of storage. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to give you my tools, so I'll empty out the tools when the new owner comes to pick it up. Once again, all these windows do open up. Plenty of plenty of ventilation. Even the window window with the uh, gas can on it opens up. I had a lot of questions about this. People love this idea. It works very well. Uh, as you can see, I made a custom aluminum bracket here that bolts to the window through these uh, flex brackets up here. All stainless hardware and also use some adhesive to keep it from flapping around. With full three gallons of gas on it, it's been on here for quite a while and I haven't had any trouble out of it. Here's another look from over here.
don't like to slam that door. I feel like it's hard on it for no reason. One like look inside here. Hopefully I've shown you guys everything. Uh, the craftsmanship on this van is impeccable. I took my time and did an excellent job on everything. This is beautiful tea molding. These floors are still under warranty. It's a distressed hardwood flooring. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the top down, just grab it with one hand. That's how the top comes down. Not too hard to get it down. Close it up here so you can get a good look at it with the top down, a good idea of the fuel savings. Did I mention that this gets 22 miles per gallon, which is excellent fuel economy. Also the DLC has uh, the driver's display, has all the different settings you could want. It tells you your fuel economy and your tire pressure. If you reinstall the sensors, it tells you uh, your oil life percentage. When you get this van, it will have fresh oil change on it and uh, fresh fuel filters. I just almost died. There's the 400 watts of solar right there. This is the Weeboot, Weeboost. It's spring loaded, so if you bump into a tree limb, you'll hear it go boing. Doesn't hurt it. It's a 5G cell phone booster. It's amazing when you're out in the middle of nowhere. You can get away from everything, get out into the beautiful nature, and you can still get connected with your family. Sports mobile top, Max Air fan. It has the rain cover, so you can leave that up when it's raining with uh, no problem. Give you another look underneath the van here. With only 49,000, 50,000 miles, the van is in excellent condition. Some nice touches here and there, the bug on it. I'll go ahead and pop the hood for you and we'll uh, start it up. So you can hear that beautiful diesel engine. This isn't tire shined or anything. I'm not a shady dealership. It's just very extremely well maintained. As you can see, everywhere inside of this is very clean. has a relatively new battery. I just replaced the air filter in it. It was due for an air filter change. Uh, I don't know what I'm forgetting to tell you guys. I feel like I've probably told you a little bit of everything. I will show you the uh, heater, if I can find it here. Here it is. There's the intake for the heater and the fuel pump. And the exhaust is up there, up top up there. So all that exhaust is spewed out into the atmosphere and not into your lungs inside the van, which is important. I've seen some rigs that people are lucky to be live. I might just be repeating myself at this point, but I wanna make sure I don't forget to tell you anything. Mm. So I'm gonna glance over everything real quickly. You can, a nice thing about this van is you can sit up in it. Uh, I'm sitting up right now. You can sit up relatively without, so you could, you could still live in it with the top down. I do it quite often. You can hang out in here, do dishes, cook dinner. It's got a beautiful view. Oh God, I just got your bed dirty. Sorry. Oh, it has OnStar. It also has Wi-Fi on the van. So the van has its own internet. You pay monthly for it. It's like $10 a month uh, through AT&T. And it, you can connect your phone to it. 
uh, and tether like all your electronics, your laptop and whatnot off of it. And you can charge your laptop here. It does have OnStar. Oh, I did want to show you guys that it does have a backup camera. You just throw it in reverse. You can see the 2018 model. It's extremely overexposed, but it's a very, it's HD, good quality camera right there. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've pretty much done it for you. Uh, I'm gonna miss it. I love this van. Everybody on my YouTube channel probably knows I love this van and I hate to see it go. But ready for the next chapter of my life. And uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy the next chapter in yours, whoever gets this. Anything that I forgot, because I know I forgot to put something in this description, will be, oh, uh, will be in the description. So go ahead and check the, double check the description. So you have the bed lifts up. There's the 30 gallon tank. Here's some valves in here and a pressure relief. Those are the 200 watts of AGM, or uh, excuse me, lithium ion battleborne batteries. The fuse panel, the 3000 watt inverter, Underneath that is a Everstar uh, charge converter, or excuse me, uh, solar charge converter. And underneath that is a 40 amp DC to DC charge controller that connects to the van, the van's engine. So anytime you're driving, it's charging the batteries. Anytime you're in the sun, it's charging the batteries. Keeps the batteries topped off really well. Uh, I'm gonna go get an ice cream and cry about selling it because I know I'm gonna miss it. <laughs>